Hi there, this is Julie here, and we are going to talk about custom pages in Power Apps. Specifically, we are in a model-driven app, and this custom page is going to supplement some things that we already have going on. So we're looking at Happy Tails Doggy Daycare Office application, and in this application, their office staff, the people at the front desk, they manage pet records, they manage the visits, they manage household, immunization records, and so on. They have another app, a Canvas app, that they use in the daycare itself where the people who are lucky enough to spend all day with puppies can take pictures of the puppies and send out news flashes to the owners of those dogs. But for us here, this is just a standard model-driven application. So we have our pet record, we click into a record, we can see, we've got our business process flow on here, we can do our record-to-record -record navigation, and so on. So we've got just our standard related entities or tables on this record and so on. We have our visits that are scheduled. We have charts available. And then what we do here is we go to our booking page. Now, when we get here, from a user perspective, it's seamless. It's just one more choice on my navigation. But this is our custom page. This is our Canvas page that is taking information from several different places. So what we're looking at here are the dogs that are scheduled for today and on site for today. So if we are looking here at this first record, we can see that this dog is waiting to be dropped off today. But this dog has already been checked in and been picked up. We also have the ability to establish capacity from here. So I can say that I'm gonna have more staff available and our staff to dog ratio is five to one. So for every staff member, I can increase that capacity. Somebody calls in sick, I can decrease that capacity and I'll be given messaging and be prevented from adding more dogs if I've hit that capacity. So we click here on the dog, we can go from on-site to checkout. And when we check out, that dog will disappear here from our custom page. So it will give us a timestamp of now that the dog has checked out and then they will no longer be on our page. You'll see that it, it reflowed for us. In addition to the words that we have that let us know that this dog has still not yet been dropped off, we have this color coding here. So we know that this dog has been dropped off because we see the color coding here on the bar. And these are all items that are just standard options with our custom canvas page that we have in our model driven app. I've said for years, users really don't care about our data model. They want an app that works. They want an app that makes their life easier and more productive. And now with this addition of these custom pages and our model driven application, we have more opportunities to do that and to have tables from all different parts of this model-driven application and this underlying dataverse to be on this custom page to make that user's experience so much easier.